In this video, I'm going to show you how to add global custom fields to WooCommerce products. I made a video where I showed you how to add custom fields to WooCommerce products. And in that video, I showed you how to add the custom fields to every single product each time you are creating the product. And this may be tedious depending upon the kind of shop you are running. I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. So if you are running an online store, that will require you to add the same custom fields to your products, then this video is for you. Because in it, I will show you how you can add global custom fields to your e-commerce website. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Tupu Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Now, if I try to create a new product by going to New, click on Product, I'll just name my product Test Product. I'm not going to give it any description. I'll just go ahead and enter in my price. Now, in here, if I go to Custom Fields, I have the opportunity to add my Custom Fields, but I'm not going to do that. Maybe I can set a featured image. And I'll go ahead and publish the product. The product is saved. Now if I view it by right clicking open link in a new tab, you see that I don't have any custom fields right here. So next I'm going to go ahead and add my global custom fields. So I go to the back end of my website, then I hover on WooCommerce, click on product fields at the moment i don't have any custom fields created i just go ahead and click on add new so in here i add new product field group i'll just name it services next under field i'll go ahead and add my first field and the type of field i'm going to add is going to be check boxes take note you can go ahead and add in all these fields those with Pro, you will be able to use them until you get the Pro version of the plugin. So I choose checkboxes. Next, I give my field a label. So I call it extra services. Maybe column. If I have some instructions, I can add it. I'm not going to do that. Next, you decide whether your custom fields are going to be required or not. Mine is not going to be required. Next, I go into options and I go ahead and add my options. So I click on add option. The first option is going to be set up required. And the price I set to flat fee. And I'm going to go ahead and make it $12. I'll add another option. And I call this additional pages. I set a flat fee of eight dollars take note you can add as many options as you want to move fast with the tutorial i'll just leave it as the two options going down you can go ahead and set some conditions but i'm not going to tackle this in this tutorial however for you to be able to add some conditions you need at least two fields in order to create some conditions so i'll just go ahead and publish it is published now if i go to create a new product add new i'll call it test product 2 i just go ahead and set the price i can choose a featured image then i go ahead and publish now let's take a look and right here i have my extra services perfect so users of my website can go ahead and add this to the total. So now every single product you'll be adding to your shop will come with these extra services. You don't need to set it during the creation of a product. However, it should be noted that you can always add additional custom fields to the global custom fields you've already added. Now if I go to the products and go down to custom fields, you see in here i have the opportunity to add my first field so i'll just go ahead and add a new field maybe 
this time around i'll choose radio buttons and i'll name it extra services going down i add my first option next i add another option additional pages i set a flat fee of eight dollars then i go ahead and publish or update all right it is updated now if i go to the product at the moment you see that we are having check boxes of which users can select all the boxes now if i go ahead and refresh you see that we now have new custom fields in addition to the old one and this particular one you said we will be able to choose one from the list awesome so take note the global custom fields you set will always be part of your product each time you are creating new products so that's it guys on how to add global custom fields to woocommerce products i hope this video was helpful if you found by the kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i'll see you in the next one